Microphone wasn't on. It's now on and you can now hear me. This is my first stream. Can you tell? It's pretty obvious. I might also have some kind of thing going on in my head because I'm a 40 year old man. Yeah, I'm not afraid to admit my age. Wearing a Mario hat, streaming video games. I'm not going to grow out of it because it's too cool. So um, I can't tell if anyone's watching at the second. I don't know if that's really or it should, does matter, doesn't it? Uh, let me if I skip out onto the old uh, Streamlabs OBS or into the old internets um, I might be able to tell oh yeah there are people talking to me okay great that's good to know uh, maybe I can just get on playing with the Stanley parable um, thank you for tuning in. oh yeah I've got my friends Psycho Fox Chris Fox Zamtendo uh, Mr. Gabs oh my god my Sega boys are here I think this just might be me and my friends that I used to work with in the games industry are there any legitimate normal people who aren't my friend that somebody followed uh, somebody just followed I'm not too sure how to check that because it seems that watching this on twitch the psycho fox is now hosting my stream with one viewer thank you very much chris uh, you should follow so this is i have to tell everybody that they should follow other people i know that's like customary now in the whole twitch game um i'm also in front of the options i should put myself on the other side of the screen shouldn't I? i'm not going to do that now uh count hano is following you who's count hano well thank you count hano for following me thank you for coming here um so let me introduce myself and then I'll go on about all the technical nonsense that's going on. Hello, my name is Imran Youssef. Uh, I'm a stand-up comedian. I used to work in the games industry, still affiliated to the British games industry through the work that I do with them at, uh, with Games Aid. And I'm very excited to do this. This is my very first stream. It's taken me a while to get set up. It's a bit finickety, quite technical. And without the help of my friends from the games industry, uh, I wouldn't be able to do this. Special shout out to Ibrahim Bati, also known as Ibstatron on Twitch, uh, for helping me get this all set up and helping me spend an, an obscene amount of money to be able to do this with a microphone and the light uh, the height adjustable desk they didn't advise that it's just something i wanted to get um uh, and uh, here we are this is great man 11 people are watching this i've taken it out of their day to watch me play the stanley parable which is a game i've not played before uh, i played the demo because it just looked interesting and i'm really excited to play this um so i guess be just before we get started say hello let me know if you've got any questions if you want to talk about anything anything you'd like for you know should I wear the Mario hat? I think I should wear the Mario hat. Uh, it makes me feel comfortable. It makes me feel more gamey uh, for this particular thing that I'm performing in now. Um, and uh, you can also probably see right around the edge of me, there's sometimes a little box appears because my the green screen setup that I've got isn't perfect, but um, I'm doing my best. I hope it doesn't bother you too much. Um, yeah, great. Uh, Psycho Fox Chris is saying hello. So it's, uh, all pra uh, praise the Ibs. Ruroni Shinra's in. Yeah, my, my mate Shiva is here as well. Uh, Count Hano, who are you? Count Hano, are you a legitimate civilian fan person or are you somebody I used to work with? Because <laughs> everybody else is people that I know. Bless you guys, man. Life is nothing without friends and I've got great friends uh, who all happen to still be in the games industry because it's amazing. Uh, maybe just me, but the stream's frozen. Uh, Hano said no. Hano is a legitimate person. Um, has the stream frozen for anyone else? Zam, are you still able to see this? I hope you are. Um, hey, no, by you saying no, that you're a legitimate civilian fan person, thank you very much. 
Uh, Gabs is saying, no fine for me. So, Zam, there's something to do with your internet. In fact, it was Gabs, my friend Gabriel Rawls there. He told me to get the mesh router that is allowing me to stream uh, unimpeded. So, thank you, Gabs. Great guy. Follow these guys in my chat. They're all my friends that used to work in the games industry. Uh, and without them, I wouldn't be the person that I am today. Each and every one of them is an absolute gold mine of of love in in uh in, in no uncertain terms and um zamtendo okay must be the 2020 internet year i'm pretty sure that's what it is zam um and zam is attempting to watch this stream on his gamecube hey we will not have any insulting of the gamecube on my stream chris you should know better than that all right Okay, GameCube was an amazing console. Zam's I I I uh, he's in now. Oh, Ibs is here. Ibs, there he is. Oh, Ibs is watching me. Thank you. Massive shout out to Ibs who's helped me set, uh, get this set up. Uh, because without you, I wouldn't have been able to do this. I didn't know what Streamlabs OBS was. I didn't know how to get this set up. And I uh, hope you guys are going to enjoy this. This is great. These are all just my friends and one legitimate person that is Count Hano. Uh, I hope that I've pronounced that correctly, Count Hano. Um, and uh, yeah, so Count Hano, as you're the only person that I don't know from outside of this, is, uh, all, yeah, all these are all my friends from the games industry. Zamtendo, Ipsitron, Psycho Fox, Mr. Gabs, Ruroni Shinra. Uh, follow these guys because they're all great guys and they all make great content. Uh, everything's a downgrade after the GameCube. <laughs> all right, great. Awesome. We've got 13 people watching. This is exciting. This feels the closest thing to being back on stage again like i'm used to being in a comedy club in front of people who you know are like okay entertain me and i go but now it's like being in front of those people but they're not there and i've just got to keep on well ultimately i'm entertaining myself really uh but i hope you guys are getting something out of it and uh, word <laughs> zam has said word into that everything's a downgrade after a gamecube so awesome guys um i will yeah if anyone's got any questions say hello uh, or I can get, get cracking on with my very first attempted playthrough of the Stanley Parabola, which I will henceforth call it in order to add more humor and levity to this stream, because it will be good for my mental health and your mental health. And if we all have good mental health, then imagine what we could achieve. Perhaps a saner world where there's no violence. But that aside, Let's make this about video games. Uh, Ruroni Shinra, check out, by the way, Ruroni Shinra is also known as Shiva, uh, his real name, Imran Yusuf, bringing the thunder to Twitch. I love you, Chris. Referencing an old comedy show of mine, that's why I called it Bring the Thunder, and a mantra that I used to use before I went on stage. Uh, yeah, but just so you remember, Shiva, uh, Ruroni, uh, uh, Ruroni Shinra, uh, is also making a game on Unity, a point and click kind of adventure storytelling game. Uh, he can be very shy and he might not want to share that news with everybody but we should encourage him that you know you should be create being a creative person is all about sharing your passion with others in whatever form it comes through music writing making video games so check out Ruroni Shinra he's making a game and let's get him to deliver that game sometime soon so we can all play it um Mr. Gaz because Shiv is a legend see there you go Shiv Gabs remembers how much of a legend you are right and you don't work at the same country anymore so that's incredible you got to do that Shiv um, I'm excited. I'm ready to go. I'm going to start playing this game unless anybody else wants to... I don't know. How, how do you stream? Is this it? Like, I've been watching the other guys. Maybe we can talk a bit longer and then we can get, get on with the game. Um, the Stanley Parable... The reason... Um Psycho Fox, uh, he's also known as Shiv because of how he dispatches the infected. Amazing Last of Us reference there thrown into this stream about the Stanley Parable. I'm loving the gamer knowledge and passion that is happening in my chat. This is what life is about, okay? It's not just about having straightforward conversations of like, hello, do you have said item? Yes, I have said item. May I buy it? Yes, you may. Here you go, exchange. It's about dropping little references to other things from pop culture that enrich the conversation and make it more exciting, right? It's like getting into a car and you're in a rush to go somewhere, but you know you've got to drive safely and you'll be like right let's go get there we're gonna go to get it up to 88 miles per hour and we all know that's a classic back to the future uh, reference somebody says something silly or well, when it's time to leave you say hey let's make like a tree and get the hell out of here another classic back to the future reference that's what brings the richness and beauty to life rather than let's just go so uh, yeah share the love exactly Sam that's what I agree with um, right so the reason I, wa uh, I wanted to play the Stanley parables I've become aware that in it, I would want to say the words in recent years when really 
it feels like in recent years, or maybe uh, more so than recent years, that this genre of explorer maps has emerged. Rather than just using the first person engine to go and shoot everything, you can actually use it to explore the environment and have a little bit of an existential crisis along the way. And I'm very fascinated by that because that's how I think about life often. Like maybe it's a video game where we're walking around and interacting with people and we're a bit deluded that, you know, we got to run and get money and eat and fight people and da 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 da. But really, it's about exploring it and trying to understand it and making friends because that what's that's what makes life rich along the way so that's why i want to play the stanley parable i know there's other games uh, similar to this i believe there's one called everyone's gone to the rapture um so i'm going to check that out at some point i recently played the bradwell conspiracy from boss of studios that's a first person like kind of it felt like a first person explore them up and then you know you get tools to do stuff uh and jonathan ross did the voice for like uh, the initial part of the game which was quite comical and i really enjoyed that because gabs has put everybody's gone to the rapture is great uh, amazing all right in that case gabs if you recommend it gabs i'm definitely gonna play it i'm gonna after i've completed the stanley parable probably that's the next thing i would jump well essentially after the stanley parable should i play another first person explorer map or should i do what we all want me to do and play shenmue if you don't know what shenmue is guys you've got to play shenmue uh, most of the people in this chat right now have played it and they understand it and they love it the same way that i love it we love shenmue so much that some of us have actually gone to visit yokosuka yokosuka uh, in japan uh, just outside tokyo uh in because that's where the first shenmue is relatively based and i've been there three times once i actually went on the last time i went there i went actually with sega uh, which was great because they're my uh ex-employer i used to work for them um yeah double eater street that's uh that's great count Haino. count Haino has played shenmue absolutely dude i'm glad that you like it because you're in the not only are you watching the right person right now but you're in the right chat because everybody in this chat is a shenmue fan if you don't know Shen, I don't know anybody who hates Shenmue. I don't know anybody who's like, ah, man, I hate this game. I, I don't get get it. Everybody loves it. Um, and so that tells you a lot, to be honest. So, yeah, Psycho Fox, Dobuita Street. That's exactly where you got to go. If you're a Shenmue fan, go go visit that place when it's safe. Um, and went there because of you, dude. Oh, mad angels for life. Uh, that's right. When I, I met Chris, who's the Psycho Fox, I met Chris at Sega back in 2000 and the summer of 2005. And I had already been to Dobuita Street and I told him, I was like, hey, man, I, I've actually been to Japan and I went to Yokosuka and I went to Dobuita Street. And he was like, oh, my God, that's a, it's a real place. And in that moment like we had become friends like we had bonded like that was the thing that you know like i had done it because i discovered it um from ign the guys at ign had been to double eater street and so then i went and then i told everybody else and you know loads of people i know around the world who are shenmue fans have got to go so great awesome that's the shenmue chat i will get around to playing shenmue man i've talked so much already i need water this is drink water guys it's important you're made up about 70 is it 70 or 75 a lot of you is made up of water so you should drink water ah uh, needed that right okay so let's shall we get cracking on with the game um i think we will uh, send out a tweet about your first stream dude i did i tweeted that i was um that i was uh, streaming at nine o'clock um and uh yeah so uh, those who are following are following and i hope they uh they enjoy it and um i can see uh that a few of my friends are already streaming at the moment uh maybe they'll join in at some point uh, i don't know i don't understand how this works i'm quite excited this is good fun might have to give up the stand up in clubs and just become like i just do stand up on streams there I, by the way just so you know uh i'm gonna do my best to keep this completely clean um you know when you come to a comedy club you've paid and you understand uh, what kind of environment you're in and so therefore the language and the content is you know uh, unrestricted but here on the stream i understand there may be kids watching or people who just don't need effing and blinding so i'm going to do my best to keep it clean and family friendly uh so uh, somebody's put hey spike dog uh, adam's here suck imran you suck <laughs> uh, gads is saying yeah maybe they'll give me a raid maybe they will i, uh, I don't know that would be great uh spike dog wolf is adam uh adam's a good friend of mine from idos uh, he's one of the uh, one of my uh, one of the first friends in the games industry who actually came to see me do stand up uh, when I was an open spot. And what was really great, uh, it was it was Adam and it was Dwayne Court and uh, who uh, and, and, uh, and maybe and, so, uh, and there's probably a third and maybe a fourth person. Uh, and it was Dave. It was Dave Haddon as well. They were there 
and they came to watch me, right? And what I, I did really well. I did really, really well. They, what they had done, in case that I sucked really badly, they had bought up a sign where they all held up a piece of paper and it spelled out pwned, P-W-N. N 3D. Well, so I call it pwned. Some people call it pwned. Uh, and you're wrong. It's pwned, right? So uh, <laughs> I, put, uh, I put that up. But I, I went. Re um, it went really well for me that night. And those guys were there to support it. And um, yeah, oh, I'm so glad he's here, man. I feel I feel love. This is real family right here. So for those of you who so uh, Count Hano, uh, me, all my old IDOS and Sega boys. These are guys who are still in the games industry. Uh, they work really hard. They've gone to higher levels now uh, and um, they're great guys. And the games industry is in good hands because these guys work in it. There's not just some soulless guys who are trying to make money. There are game fans who've helped fund the games industry to get where it is today, who are now in positions of power and they all deserve everywhere they are and I hope that they ascend to even greater heights until me and my mates are the games industry Illuminati and we control everything. I shouldn't have said that out loud. Right. <laughs> awesome. I'm going to get on with this. Uh, please remember, first time I'm doing this, I'm going to do my best to keep an eye on the chat and play the game. Right. So, by the way, I just want to point out, as excited as I am about playing this game, this is bad uh, interface design. In order, the option you've got to choose is... Um, is the one that's grayed out and that's counterintuitive it should be the brightest one that's good game design so the people who've designed this game are watching i'm happy to come in as a consultant and fix these problems right so we're going to begin game which is now grayed out right so there we go boom this is the story of a man named stanley it's a story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a he big did. building. He worked for a company in a big building. Number four two he was seven. employee 427. Employee four two seven's job was his simple. Job was he simple. Sat at his desk in room he, 427. He did. And he pushed buttons. He pushed buttons. That's what we did. Orders came to him through a yeah. monitor on his desk. Oh, Tell orders came through a monitor. To push. He was how told what to buttons push. to push. And how long and to push them. Order. This is what order. employee 427 did. Every He's not even day. using two hands. How did this guy get a job? Why didn't he get Mavis Beacon t teacher's touch typing and sort his life out? He's sitting there, one hand on the keyboard, one hand on his lap, because he knows he's being watched and he shouldn't touch areas that he shouldn't touch. Well, that would be a bug, but I bet that went, no, that's as designed because it's meant to be this existential crazy game. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever something change Stanley. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. Something that he would never quite forget. He had forget. been at his desk for nearly an hour. He had been he there for like an hour. not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. Nobody had no given him an order. Showed up to give him instructions Nobody turned up to work. Meeting. Was it a day off? Say, Somebody left their computer on. That's, you know, you've got to save energy, guys. That's this, mad. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Something was definitely wrong. That office is dirty. Solid. Stanley found himself unable to, to move desk. for the longest time. They need to get down to Ikea. To his wits and regained his senses, Ooh, he got I've got control. Desk he did. And stepped out of his office. There he goes. All right, so now the game wants me to step out of the office. But just before I'm going to do that, I'm just going to point out, for, for the younger viewers who might be watching, that's a CRT monitor. Uh, it's not a flat screen, because that's what we had to deal with. Uh, obviously, they've only got DOS on that computer. They don't have Windows. And uh, interesting over here, again, for the younger viewers, right, this over here is a pencil sharpener. Um, and the, basically what you do, you get a pencil like this, right? You get a pencil like that. And uh, you put it into the thing and go, and it sharpens the pencil. So you get it nice and sharp like this, right? And um, that's probably pointless for the younger people who don't know what pencils are because you're just on your phones and everything's digital now and he's got a tray here is a green one and a red one the yellow one the red one the yellow one they've got stuff in them obviously he's been working look the cabling on the floor that's that's a that's a health and safety hazard who's and look how dirty this carpet is you have not really worked or lived life until you've worked in an office that has a dirty carpet because uh, they don't want to spend all right let's look at the time here so this isn't using any form of internal clock uh, on the machine. It's just a, a clock in the game. And as you can see, it's, a, uh, what is it coming up? No, it's 11.25, I'm assuming AM. So that means that he got to work about 9, 9.30. If you're getting at nine, you know, your, your boss will like you. If you're getting at 9.30, they know that, you know, you don't really care as much. And if you come in one minute after that, then, you know, you probably should be fired. And uh, well, at least I got away with it because I'm charming. Um, 
and uh, we should leave. Let's get out of the office. There we go. Come out of the office. Lots of rooms. All of uh, his co-workers were gone. They were all what gone. What did it mean? What, what did it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Perhaps he's simply missed a memo. So they want you to go to the meeting room through that door, but there's the computer no that's been left on. Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Yeah, he's not around. Can I switch that computer off? Oh, there we go. I switched it off. I'm saving the world in this world. Can I open any of these doors? No. None of them work. None of them work. Oh, please. What? What are you are saying? Are really now? just doing this for the achievement? Is Click there achievement? A five times. Is that all that you think an achievement is worth? No, no, One, no, no, no. Two, I can't just give three, these merits away for four, such little effort. Five, and what? five clicks. Yeah. Now suppose you were to click the door twenty times. Twenty I would times. Say that's the kind of effort that warrants recognition. Okay. So you want me to click the door? Is this part? Well, I could just leave, but it won't. Let's see what happens if I click it 20 times. I know this isn't great for a first stream, but, you know, like, hey, I'm going to click a door 20 times, but maybe it's an important part of the gameplay, right? One, two, three, four, mm. five. I have to say, I'm still not feeling the satisfaction of witnessing eight, true effort nine, for a noble cause. Ten, Perhaps 11, 50 clicks will do it. 12, yes, almost three, certainly 50 four, clicks. Five. 50? No, I'm not doing that. Not 50 clicks, come on, surely. No, no, huh? I'm, I'm still not feeling it. I, I want this achievement to have meant something. It has to be a, a true reward for valiant effort. I want to see some hustle, Stanley. Hustle. I want to see commitment, right. a willingness to go all the way, no matter what this the narrator. cost. Why don't you go put 20 clicks into door number 417? What? All oh, right. I hate this already. Right, so this is the door I've got to go through because they want me to... It moves really smooth, by the way. This is a, a really... Obviously, it's game's been out for a while and I've got a very powerful laptop. Not showing off, but I do. Can I switch that one off as well? Yeah, this is awful. You know, I used to do this in the, when I worked in the games industry. I'd walk around to people's computers and switch them off after they had left, which is probably why some of the games that we worked on didn't come out at all. Um, you know, but you shouldn't leave your computer on. Um, here we go. Oh, 417. There it is. One, two, three, four. <laughs> oh, great. Now, go click a few times on door 437. What? No, I think you're taking the mic. 437. Which way is that? 416, 437, 437. I wonder what this will unlock. 437. Oh, by the way, um, I'm able to move quite swiftly in uh, first-person games, which might cause a bit of motion sickness for those who you are, uh, who are watching. And so Excellent. I apologise for that. I think we're getting somewhere. Now, door 415. Let's give it 10 clicks or so. 415. OK, I hope this does something. 415. I hope this does, because if it doesn't, like... 416. Oh, there we go. Uh, uh, is that 415? That must be. No, they've done that on purpose. There's real comedian. Oh, hold on. There we go. <laughs> now back to door number four three seven. What? Okay. This. I, I hope for those of you who've played this game before and know what's going on. You're finally on Twitch. Glad to see you streaming. Oh, Rick Carranza. Oh, amazing. Thank you very much, uh, Rick Carranza. Uh, Rick Carranza, for those of you who are watching, Rick Carranza is a comedian. Uh, I hope I'm saying that correctly. Carranza uh, is a comedian uh, from Scotland. He is the biggest Star Wars and Star Trek, and more so a Star Trek fan. He does a show at the Edinburgh Festival called um, Star Wars vs. Star Trek or something like that. And he gets comedians who are fans of Star Wars and Star Trek uh, to argue which is better through a general knowledge quiz. And I think... I was on the same team as Bethany Black once, and um, uh, did we win? I thought we must have won because Star Wars is better than Star Trek. Everybody knows that. Ah, uh, oh, <laughs> Adam is in there with Star Trek. That's that should be. How, how do I do like a, a poll? What's better, Star Wars or Star Trek? How do you do that in um, in uh, you know what? That's something to learn next time. Like I don't know how to get into Twitch and and do a nice rick my fave tn no, the next generation episode is cause and effect how about you rick Carranza? when you did win yeah thank you rick uh, rick is a great guy you should follow him he's uh you know uh just a nice dude and he knows his he, kn he knows his star wars and he knows his star trek uh and you should check out his content because he makes great and i believe rick 
was at the Edinburgh Festival when the guy who plays uh, the hologram doctor from The Next Generation or Voyage, one of those, a hologram doctor who acts like a bit of a nerd, uh, he was in the audience at Rick's show and they got a picture together. Um, yeah, oh, Rick saying... Um, Voyager Year of Hell. Oh, okay. Uh, please state the nature of your medical emergency. <laughs> uh, 437. I need to get back to 437, guys, because, you know, I need to... Where's 437? There we go. Let's see if that works again. Let's see. How about you click on, well, I don't know, the copy machine. The copy machine? Where's the copy machine? I hope this unlocks something. All right, back to room 417. I'm really feeling it now. I think right. we're getting somewhere. This game better not be wasting my time. This better be part of the gameplay design, otherwise... Oh, there we go. Okay, now go climb on employee 419's desk. 419's desk? 419 is desk. How do I climb on it? How do you climb on it? Oh, hold on. Is there a jump button? No. Is there a jump button? Um, yep, Robert Robert Picard Picardo. His name was not Robert Picardo, is it? Was that my solo show? Oh my god, Rob But the guy was called Jean-Luc Picard. And then the guy in the hologram doctor's real name is Robert Picardo. Wow, alright, weird. Um, he was at your side. That's amazing, man. That's what I want to share there. Is so, uh, Rick, you did a show that you were passionate about. And that's, that's what's a really important thing in any form of art form in, and in comedy is that you did something you were passionate about. And uh, it might seem like a niche thing to do in a comedy club, but it was his show and you just did it. And this guy turned up. The guy from Star Trek turned up. And that's an amazing, you know, just uh, um, what I've learned from that, Rick, is that maybe if I do enough Jackie Chan material, Jackie Chan will come to see my show. Maybe he will leave behind Xi Jinping's crazy politics and go, he goes, you're my hero, Imran. I'll be like, no, Jackie Chan, you're my hero. And then we'll be like double dragon, double team, streets of rage, uh, and we'll save the world. And there'll be a game about it. Um, and uh, Sega will make it. I would love Nintendo to make it, um, but we all know how difficult they can be. Uh, and uh, all my friends here will be producers, executive producers, which means sitting in a boardroom uh, talking about stuff and pointing at things um, and making everybody else do the work. Um, right, so I can't get on his desk, so I think this is... Um, there's no jump button. Oh, hold on. Yes! I did this it! This is great! You're putting it all on the line, Stanley. I like that. All right, oh. let's keep it up. Go give me a few clicks on door 416. 416. 416. Four, what was that? There's 417 and 4. Right, this better open something. We've almost got it! Now the copy machine, do that one again! <laughs> this... Oh, my God. This, this is the kind of games design I would like to do. Like, I would like to go into the games industry and go, let's create a game where you make people do this nonsense for our entertainment. Finish it off, Stanley. Five clicks on door 430. 430, five clicks. Two. Yes! Oh, my God. We it's even unlocked. It. Click on... Oh, wow. That felt amazing. Is that it? Oh, you really earned it, Stanley. Is that... Nothing could hold you back. Is... That's the achievement. How far we <laughs> today. Just think, only a few minutes ago, you believed oh. an achievement was worth five little clicks. My gosh. Really now, what were you thinking? Can I open that door? No, you can't. All right, okay. Let's, all right, that was pointless, and I've, this game has made me just waste my time. And so let's progress through here. Ooh. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Ah, he entered, right, so he entered the door on his left, right. So essentially, the game's designers are prompting me to go to the door on my left, but not really, because we know this game is meant to be somewhat, uh, like, it's meant to be comedy. So by prompting me to go through the left, it's really asking me or daring me to go through the right. But then if I do that, they're expecting me to do that, because we know this game is nonsense now, right? But if they expected me to definitely go there, I should go. Maybe this is a parable. Stanley's parable is a parable of life, really, of how we reach options in our lives. And there is a prevailing narrative 
that we are expected to follow that even when we have the choice of two things we're like you should go through the left because that's what the story has told you to do but some of us who are rebels some of us who want to change the world and make it different like steve jobs we go no i'm going to do something different i'm going to go on the right but you see those who have designed the prevailing narrative they know that you want to rebel and they want you actually to go right and they have actually um compensated or designed both outcomes and giving you the illusion of choice see you just thought you'd tune in to watch a guy play video games in a mario hat whereas now you're getting this is existential like spiritual philosophy for all of us right now do i go through the left do i go through the right i turn all right i can't i'm locked in now how are there windows there? There weren't windows there before, right? And um, this is it. This is uh, that's one dirty carpet, guys. Come on, seriously, sort this out. Like, let's uh, no, somebody's tipped the bin over. There's paperwork all over the place. This is some dirty waiting room, right? Left or right? I'm gonna look at the messages now. Um, uh, the psycho for uh, Chris has put better have a meeting about the meeting you just proposed, all of which will lead up to the main meeting. That's classic. Uh, when we worked in the games industry, and definitely when I worked in development, uh, I remember just so much time being wasted in meetings, just self important, you know, heads of departments going meeting, 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 meeting everything just getting in the way um, until we just quit meeting and then work got done. Right, guys, I'm going to ask you guys, left or right, and is there a way to how do I do a poll? How do I? But see, it means coming out of the game. Like, for some reason, when I move my mouse, the game moves, even though I've got this controller put in. Uh, all right, so Count Hano saying right. Everybody else, and I'm going to count this. Since there's only 15 people here, I'll ask. So I've got one vote for right. I'm going to do it with my hands like this, right? One vote for right well, on my right hand, which might appear on the left on the screen. I don't know. All right, so one count for right. Count Haino has said right. Is anybody else going to say any different? Just waiting for those messages. Just Count Haino. Oh, Rick Carranza has said left. Rick Carranza has gone with left. We've got Star Trek versus Star Wars, right? So Rick Carranza, left is going to be the Star Trek door and right is going to be the Star Wars door. Andy Witt, too. Thank you very much. Right, we've got two for Star Wars, right? Let's say whoever gets to five first. Well, I've only got 16 people watching, so this shouldn't be too hard. Not that that's a bad thing. Like, I appreciate it. Oh, Spike, not Adam has said right. So that's three. We're almost two more and we'll definitely take the right. Maybe you guys know where the right door goes. I don't know, right? There we go. It's three to one. Whoever gets to five first. Who is it going to be? Thank you, Andy Witt, too. Yeah, hold on. Is that Andy Whitaker from IDOS? I remember that name. Psycho Fox has said up. Oh, <laughs> of course, Chris. Of course, Chris. <laughs> of course. <laughs> We've got, oh, Shinra is saying over there. Now you guys are just taking the mic now. You're just going to leave me holding my hand up like this for ages. Spike, you've already, you've already voted. Uh, Zam has said right. Chris is saying left. Spike, you did say only one per person. Oh, sorry, Adam. I didn't know that I had to stipulate these rules. <laughs> oh, my God. Only one vote per person. <laughs> right. Okay, so we got four. I get one more. If one more person, to, uh, test a bug. Absolutely, yeah. Like, you didn't say you had to do that. I used to enter bugs with step one. Uh, put, put, put the game in the console. Like, boot title. That used to be step one. <laughs> like, boot title. Connecting to... Uh, there we go. We got four against two. Four against two. If one more person votes, votes right... Uh, step one, click menu option three, four, five, six. <laughs> if I, yeah. So th what you've just written there, Adam, step one, click menu option three, 3,456 times is basically the gameplay strategy to all championship manager games, uh, <laughs> which is pretty much what I did when I tested the fifth one. I had no idea what was going on. One more person to vote. One more person to vote. Should I go right or should I go left? Uh, are we voting on which door? Yes. Uh, cow turd, which is a lovely name. Cow turd. Yeah, we're voting on which door, right or left. Four people voted right, two people voted left. 
Uh, man, don't say that. Damo will come in here and moan. Yes, Damo. If Damo comes here and moans, it's all okay. If Damo touches any electrical equipment, it will explode, right? Uh, so we won't do that. If no one else votes, will Imran have to hold his fingers up in the air forever? Yes, Gabs has said left. <laughs> all right, here we go. Gabs has said left. So we got four against three to go left. What? Which, which way are we going, guys? 4v3, 4v3. Come on, get in there and vote. 4v3, right or left? <laughs> Whoever reach. <laughs> My hands hurt. My hands are hurting, guys. Please. <laughs> Just please. Counted, I'd say right. Okay, so Counted has said right. Okay, so that's five. Okay, thank you very much, uh, uh, Mr. Counted. Thank you very much for, for joining us. Uh, um, uh, 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 thank you. I don't know who you are, but thank you very much. Whatever awaits us behind the chosen door possibly be a letdown. That's what I'm so excited for. Great, lovely. Chris, we got to write some comedies together, man. We need to get into a room together, keep our clothes on uh, with soft drinks aplenty. Right, here we go. The right door. We're going. This was not the correct way to the meeting room. It wasn't the and correct Stanley way. Oh. knew it perfectly well. Oh, Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Oh, employee lounge. Okay. Do you ever see another person in this game? Because when you play games like this, and there's nobody around, like the Bradwell conspiracy, the moment you, another person turns out, you freak out. Ah, oh, look at this. Yes, truly a room worth admiring. <laughs> Why it have they... been worth the detour after all? Just to spend <laughs> a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. Drinking. So this, uh, I love their attention to detail. They've created a room with this recessed, um, um, yes, bit. really, really. It looks like somebody's here in the room. <laughs> a room so Can you not get a drink? Captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really yes. worth it. Absolutely. Well, you know what? See, guys, you got to localize, right? You got to localize. One dollar twenty-five. You can't have that pounds. It's all about point, pounds, baby. Stanley's obsession right. with this room bordered on creepy. <laughs> okay, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. At last, he'd had enough of the amazing room and took the first open door on his left to get back to business. Oh, what's in there? Okay. Oh, thanks. Yeah, Chris. Uh, it's a pretty big clock. Well, you know what, dude? You're a funny guy. You're very talented and creative, and uh, I like. Okay. So there's a light at the end of this thing, but I can go that way. I've definitely got to go down here. Oh, hello. So What's this? The maintenance section walked straight ahead to the opposite door and got back on track. No way. I'm going down this way. Oh, and that's what it wants me to do. So this is another test of life. When you see something that intrigues you, you know, this looks far more exciting than that. But that's what the game wants me to think. So, OK, most people would take this option. But really, I should go to the other end, right? I should go. Nah, I'm going down here. This looks more exciting. Let's go. B, close, and let's check this out. Oh, scary. Oh, it's loading now. We love a bit of loading. But Stanley didn't want to go back to the office. He wanted to wander about and get even further off track. So now, in order to get back, he needed to go, um... Uh, oh, what's happened here? It's too dark. Is there a light? I'm scared. Here, it's, um... Left. Oh. Who's opening this? So the narrator who's talking to you is able to open this stuff. Oh, no. Oh, what the hell no, happened? It's to the right, my mistake. No, what no, the no, no, no. This is spooky. Right. Why would I have ever said it was to the right? What was I thinking? Where are we going? It's clearly... Oh, dear. Would you hold on for a minute, please? I like this narrator's voice. It's somewhat reassuring, even though it's massively down, right, quite sarcastic. Left, down, left, right. Yep, yeah, yep, okay, okay, yes. I've got it now. This okay, story where is we going? absolutely definitely this way. There's a thing with the, the headlights are on. This is creepy. Oh, let's go down here. Oh, wow. No, 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 no. This is, the hell is this? at all. You're not supposed to be here yet. This is all a spoiler. Quick, Stanley, huh? close your eyes. No. Okay, 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 okay. We just, we just have to get Empl to, um, All the employees are being monitored. That guy got fired. It's all rubbish now. The whole story completely unusable. 
How about rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense, we'll just restart the game from the beginning? No, no, time, no. Suppose we don't wander so far off track, hmm? Okay. It was 427. From the top. There I am down there. Oh. What? No. Come on. What? No. It's made me start the game again. Oh, you. That's bang out of order. That is bang out of order. That is, that's like Super Mario Lost Levels, like, level of evil. That's so, that's, oh man. I gotta start, I'm not doing that door, door jangling nonsense. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? I'm not doing that nonsense Stanley again. decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. I don't, they make you start again. Is that a cheap way? When Stanley, oh. wait. Wait, what? No one. There's more doors no, I here. I started. I swear, I definitely restarted There's, the game over. These doors weren't here fresh. before. Everything should be. What oh, did something? <laughs> this is Stanley. Yes, did you hello. Change anything when no, you were back I in that didn't. Room with You've all the taken the mic did you and move the story somewhere or. Uh, hold on. This is the Matrix, Why am I man. You? This I'm is the proper one who wrote spooky. The story. It was right here <laughs> just a minute ago. I know for sure that it's here somewhere. Count Hano it said, "Ha! Huh. Well, I'm glad you're it's enjoying it, pal." What Come now? Stanley. How can you? Let's find the story. Can I get over that one? Can I? Is there any way of jumping over this? Shall I go this way? Check this out. Oh, hello. See, what's happened is that over the years, if you've been playing video games for as long as I have, and have come from that generation of people who really like to explore environment, there's this level of OCD that you develop, um, where you've just got to kind of see it all. Where is this? Is mad. This game will drive you nuts. I'll Ma say it. This is the worst adventure I've ever been on. I can promise you there oh definitely gosh. was a story here. What before. is going on? Do we just. Do we need to restart the game again? Don't do this to me. Well, I find it unlikely that we'll ever progress by starting over and over again, but it's got to be better than this. Okay, let's give it a shot. Why You're not, not going to. No. Oh my god. This game. This game is bang out of order. And, and I pity the games testers who were given the task of testing this game and were deliberately not given a game design document to understand it. This is mad. Which, by the way, is how we tested Catwoman over at Argonaut. Um, we had to test the game and fully complete it gone. without what could it mean? any knowledge Stand of it, how it was designed. Room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Oh my god, this is this is the kind of stuff that's meant to happen to you like maybe after you die and okay, you, now yes, there's no doors. Worse. I might be remembering this wrong. It's possible the story is back where we just came from. Why don't we go back the other direction and see if we missed anything? You open the door? This is this Oh <laughs> This is the first game that's kind of got Am I enjoying this? I in a way I am, but I'm also having this massive crisis of existence at the same time. Hello? I knew we'd miss something. The hell is the this? story. Here it comes. No, wait. Never mind. Not the story. Okay, let's head back the other way and <laughs> retrace our steps. My gosh. What? Now this... Well, I'll be honest. I don't recognize this place at all. Is this the story? I don't think so. I can't quite recall, but I believe my story took place in an office building. It, is that correct? Hmm. What? Do you remember, Stanley? This is well, proper you know nuts. It's like being Since in a I've dream. I've completely forgotten what we were supposed to be doing. How about this? You win! Yes! Congratulations! I know you put in a lot of hard work, <laughs> and it really paid off. So, good job. Oh, my gosh. Oh, no. No, um, I don't feel right about this at all. You are the tester. It was designed. Yes, you are the tester, and you've been here forever and ever and Some ever. <laughs> fair and square, and this was not one of those <laughs> You came for the existential crisis. At least okay. you're getting what you paid for. Yeah. Weirded out by whatever this place is. Yes. I so by. this time, I have to restart. What? Oh man, you can't keep on doing this. Is really winding me up, like in in a funny way, like a. The Stanley Power. Okay, right. adventure line. Stick I've to the yellow line. No, you know what? This I'm not. I'm going to do that. Sure we don't get lost. I've employed the help of the Stanley Parable Adventure Line. No, no. Just I'm follow the line. No. How simple is that? No, I won't. I won't. Because I'm going to beat you, game. 
You don't tell me what no, to do. No, I'm down. We're living okay, down maybe I've got to go on. down that way. All right. Okay. And okay, the line. You see, the line knows where the story is. It's over in this, this direction. Onward, Stanley, to destiny. Nope. This. Here's a thought. Wouldn't wherever we end up be our destination, even if there's no story there? Indeed. Or put it another way. You're right. Is the story of no destination still a story? This Simply is... by the act of moving forward, are we implying a journey such that a destination is inevitably conjured into being via the very manifestation of the nature of life itself? Okay, Stanley, I need to follow this train of thought for a minute. Just stick with me. Now, we can both agree that the nature of existence is, in fact, a byproduct of one subjective experience of that existence, right? Yes, okay. okay. Now, if my experience of your existence agree. Yeah. rests inside of your subjective experience of this yeah. office, uh -huh. is this office, in fact, the skeleton of my own relative experiential mental subjective construct? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. Whoever weird back has there? designed and well, written like this game... Apologize. I want to know what you're smoking, and you know if you've got some more. Right now is a bit of music to lighten the mood. This is classic Last of Us right here. Sorry, you can't go up the stairs. Uh, boxes and furniture that we piled to be in the way. Oh, I think somebody might have followed me. This music is loud. Cowturn is now following. Thank you, Cowturn. <laughs> wow. What's that? I don't think this music's gonna stop until I get to the end of this yellow line. So I'm gonna make a move. Whoops. Dugun, dugun, dugun. This game is nuts. It's just nuts. Cut the music. Yes, thank you. And look at that. Good fern. lord. The fern. Go back and look at that fern. Yeah. All right. There we go. Stanley, this fern will mm -hmm. be very important later in the story. Okay. Make sure you study it closely. And remember it carefully. Okay. You won't want to miss anything. You won't want to miss anything about this fern. This is really important, guys. So everybody who's watching this, I need your help, all right? I wouldn't have known this was a fern. Are there any plant experts, any paleontologists? Uh, would you have known that's a fern? I would have just gone the plant in the game. Sp uh, Adam says he's a plant expert. Okay. You would have known that's a fern. The thing about ferns. <laughs> the most important thing about ferns, Adam says. You should always remember. Yes, Adam. Hey, Remy's here. Never forget. Uh, they are green. Yes. Thank you. You know what? That's, in fact, Adam, that's very important information for us to know that ferns are green. Because if you're colorblind, you wouldn't know. Remy's here. Everybody, Remy is here. I want everyone to know that Remy is in the house. Right. Uh, Remy, who have you changed your last name? Have you le legit changed your last name to uh, is it Jacobson? Jacobson? Um, yeah, Re Remy is a friend of ours from Sega and uh, Remy also worked with me over into games slash performance design products uh, back in the day as well. Uh, great guy um, and very positive. You should follow him on Instagram. Um, he's uh, very upbeat. Uh, incredible dude. I haven't spoken to him in years, but yeah, Remy, old Sega guy, uh, an old Into Games PDP guy. Thanks, uh, g glad uh, no, glad that you you could join us, Remy. Uh, you would find that most of the people in this chat are friends from IDOS and Sega, so you're in good company. You, wow, you actually changed it to Jacobson, uh, if I'm pronouncing it right. Wow, you took your wife's name. Wow, all right, progressive. That's uh, incredible. Yeah, look, everybody's having a catch-up. This is great. This is amazing. Maybe this is what's going to happen. My stream is going to be a place for all the people I worked with in the games industry to meet up again. 
uh, which I'd love to do because at some point all of my mates were going to get together and we're going to play Mario Kart uh, which is what we used to do at Sega we used to play Mario Kart DS over because uh, we, uh, we all had it and we had to do it outside of the games room because someone would use the microwave and it would destroy the Wi-Fi um, wow band bros yeah Ad Adam David Haddon me Shawnee a bunch of us we used to play band brothers on the DS when the DS first came out um uh, yeah, back at IDOS. That was great. Wow. Remy's getting a lot of love. He's here. Maz Kart, when? We'll do Mario Kart uh, soon. I guess I, I need... Streaming is actually fun. I just want to let you guys know. This is actually fun. And I think I'm going to do this maybe two times or three times a week. Uh, and I need to schedule time for this game, uh, Shenmue, and a bit of Mario Kart with my boys. Because uh, that's what's... That's, you know, it'll be just... Uh, it's um it's important thing so those of you are watching it's really important that my friends are here because i used to work with these guys uh in a time of my life when i was really depressed and things had gone wrong and i had no money and everything was going wrong and the greatest wealth that i had in that moment was the friendship with all these guys all different walks of life all different everything but what brought us together was a love of games and the fact that we were all games testers being paid minimum wage on rolling contracts and when you're in that level of difficulty in your life you will bond and overcome the barriers of color race religion and all that other nonsense um yeah the whole of sega's in here remy zam uh chris uh gabs and then you got adam and haddon from idot it's amazing this is great right let's get on with this game remember this fern everybody we're watching it remember this fern there may have been other ferns that i've ignored but there we go there's blinds in here as well but we don't care about them right what, what does it say there by the way what does it say on that box some okay a texture that's blurry enough to look interesting but not uh vital enough. right now Wait, where do we what? go we're back at the office? No, what? no, no, line. You do know we're looking for the Stanley Parable, right? The story? Yeah. Is any of this ringing a bell? Oh, hold on. They didn't let you, oh, hello. Open door. Right. I heart you all, Remy says. Absolutely. Oh, there we go. I beat the game. Oh, I've seen behind no, the curtain. No, not again. Line, how could you 427 is down there. After we trusted Look, 427, after can you see it? Been through, right down there. No, I can't take this anymore. In the center of the screen, 427. Oh, you make me start the game again. Oh my God, this game is abusive. <laughs> I hope there's more to this game than this because like, you know what? What? what are I'm you doing? The adventure line. What's oh my God, this, this... We're intelligent people, right? Oh, I'm Why starting to feel violent now. <laughs> what? Something exciting, daring, mysterious. Oh, this all sounds perfectly doable. Why don't we simply start wandering in, well, I don't know. How about this direction? Ooh, there's not, oh, okay, all right. My gosh, this game is mad. Now, yes, this is exciting. Just me and Stanley forging a new path, a new story. Well, it could be anything. What do you want our story to be? My gosh, come on. Use your imagination. I'm Whatever in the golden be, ratio Stanley, of the Fibonacci I'm sequence. For it. This is, the voice actor they got for this is great. He must have had, oh, the guy no, who wrote, the person again. who wrote this, Stanley. the person, I'd also like it might to not be a guy, the person, from having any role in or the person awesome who wrote this, no are very clever. Monitor rooms. Just don't acknowledge it, and we should be fine. What is going on? Man, I need, need, I need to meet the people who made this game, and I need to write a game with them, because uh, it's just hysterical. Also, what is this game, Remy's asking. So, Remy, this is the Stanley Parable. Uh, it's been out a while. There's a demo on Steam, and then there's the full game, obviously. I believe they're doing, like, an HD version. or They're, they're, uh, they're redoing it, uh, and it's proper mad. It's just mad. That's the genre it is. It's first-person explore. It's mad. It's just mad. Uh, Rational Carl. I love this game. It's so, it's so brilliantly absurd. Oh, hello, Rational Carl. Uh, thank you very much for, for, for joining us. Uh, to 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 describe this game as brilliantly absurd is um, definitely something I agree with. Um, Ruroni Shinra is uh, dropping off. Good luck. Thank you very much, Shiv, for joining in. Really appreciate your support. See you soon. Uh, for those of you who don't know Shiv, uh, Ruroni Shinra, please follow him. Check out his uh, social media stuff. Uh, he's also, like I said earlier, making a game on Unity, a point-and-click adventure game that he's passionate about. Uh, and I encourage him and all of you to check it out uh, and for him to share it and for all of us to check it out. Uh, and, yeah, awesome. This is great, man. Hanging out with all my friends. Oh, hello. This room ah, look fine. Looks different. Choice. 
another choice. To make a decision. Oh From my god. Here, the story is in our control. <laughs> is How it important really? We must not squander, mm, opportunity. We must not squander fact, it. I believe I need a minute to think here. Do you? Just All right. Walk in circles for a minute. Walk in circles okay. for a minute. You want me to so actually do that? that? Each door has to lead somewhere. Which means that somewhere, the place where we're trying to go, there must be a reverse door that leads here. And that, in turn, means that our destination corresponds with the counter-inverted reverse door's origin. So starting from the right, <laughs> let us ask, will taking the right door lead us well. to where we're going? And since the answer is clear, <gasps> yes, come on. by all accounts, the door on the right is the correct one. Is it? Another victory for logic. Come, Stanley. Our destiny awaits. Our destiny awaits. Okay, the right door. Okay, because it's the only choice. I can't do that one. And here we are in a cinema room. Oh, the confusion ending. This? Hmm. What? Hmm. The confusion ending. You're telling me that's what this is? It's all one giant ending? And we're supposed to restart the game eight, eight times? That's really how all this goes? It's all determined. So now, hmm. according to the schedule, I restart again. He said schedule. That's incorrect. Sorry, I'm not going to accept that. There is a man who is speaking in an identifiably British thing. accent and he used or, the word schedule. This well, is incorrect. This is an American so word. The correct British pronunciation is when schedule. I've, I've done a comedy routine this. about this. It's, it's really on YouTube. Check it out. It's no, called it Imran Yusuf British Citizenship Test. And if you fail it, you should get kicked out of the country. I don't want to forget what's going on. I can't. I don't want to be trapped like this. Neither do I. Restart the game. I won't. Do it. I won't. You do won't it. restart. I, I hope you don't restart do the game. It. So this part of the game is meant to make you believe or feel that all the choices Does you make are kind of irrelevant because be the conclusion of your life is all the same. The Death. Um, whatever um, it is that which you shouldn't be afraid of because it's part of life, know? right? Um, Will someone come for us? Will something happen? Yes. Hello. Come on. So. Okay. <sighs> Chris says, oh, no, I say uh, no. schedule. I in some way, sort it out, mate. Schedule. Kind of story, wouldn't you agree? I'm not quite sure if we're in the destination. The narrator reminds me of the fox well, raccoon in Animal Crossing that, that gives you a lecture journey, if you don't save your game. <laughs> so I hope that's where we are right now. We'll find out. Right? Most of you are Animal Eventually. Crossing fans. Like, I, I, well, like, I never got into it. Like, it didn't work for me. What? You're resetting the game? Mr. Rissetti. This guy, this, what is going on? I'm just absolutely getting pwned by this game and there are no enemies. Like, I get it. If you're running around trying to take out zombies and they're just pwning you, I get it. But this game is just pwning me and, like, there's nothing I can do about it. All right, here we go. All of this I'm going to go around this one. Gone. Come on, what guys. Could it mean? Switch it Danny off. Danny decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Switch it off. Don't waste electricity, guys. We need to take care of this planet and of each other. Okay, we're going left when this time. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yes, okay. And here we are. Yet In a meeting, finally, a the meeting room. Tips are not getting fired. Feeling a wave of disbelief. <laughs> Talk less, Stanley do unbelievably amazing work all the time every day with no exception. Ah. might find an answer there. Let it ball up inside you, take it out passive aggressively on other co-workers, resent co-workers for not supporting you more. This is, you know what the truth is, if you ever worked in an office, uh, what I found, or if you've worked in any kind of job, there's always somebody that everybody hates. And there's always somebody that is like... <laughs> just is very very difficult and um i'm grateful that that was never me that's why i have friends who are watching me on twi twitch oh hold on uh black b44 is in here is he oh whoa hey man is that uh, which one is that this is one of the twins mo okay um is it mo now i know where my team are getting their conflict resolution tips from yeah it's from this game adam exactly that is that mo or is it k i can't tell from the name like i don't know whose name is what um, we got another we got another Sega alumni in here. I just think the whole of everyone <laughs> Sega and Idos are just in this chat. This is great. Uh, oh, it's K. So so for those of you who don't know, so uh, Mo and K are twins uh, brothers. Uh, I worked with both of them at Sega, 
And aside from being video games, like testers, video games professionals, they will also, and, but correct me if I'm wrong, uh, Kay, uh, you were at one time semi-professional uh, paintballers, like proper paintball, like n not just, oh, I'm going to go do paintball next weekend. Stanley they did it as like a sport. At all. And he seems to think I had nothing better to do with yeah, my this game needs to shut up. I'm talking, I'm talking to my friends. Every fascinating right? little detail of his inability to do anything. Yeah, just shush. This is why Stanley and I Dude. are on such good terms. Ha, can I, yeah, I can pause it for a second. I, I want to share this with the, the, those watching. So Mo and K, so Black B44 is K, right? Uh, the, these are, uh, th this is the short version of his name because your full name, uh, K, is uh, Ogunakewe. Right, Ogunakewe Unude or Unud, is that correct? Uh, and your brother is Imonena. Imonena, I believe I've got that. I've I've got a penchant for pronouncing Nigerian names correctly because um, I've through doing comedy, I've made more Nigerian friends and learning to be able to pronounce their beautiful names has become a hobby of mine because they're actually uh, shout out. I know they're not watching to Oluwa Fumbi Adejiji Omatayo and to uh, Oluwale uh, Olu. Uh, because uh, those guys, I shared a flat with them in Edinburgh in 2014 and they taught me how to marinate and uh, cook chicken because I didn't know before then. Like, I'd be selling Fumbi, uh, you know, so all right, now that I marinated chicken, how long do I put it in the grill for? And he went, until it's done. I was like, I don't get that. You need to give me a number. Is it five minutes? Is it 10 minutes? I think understand that, you know, cooking meat is more of an art than it is a particular science. But hey, you live and you learn. Um, so uh, I love the stream, man, but I'm not sure you have this streamer thing the right way around. <laughs> Close enough. Um, is um, K, uh, yeah, so K and Mo uh, were doing semi-professional paintballing and we did paintball with them once. We were just like normal people doing paintball and watching these guys playing paintball was frightening. They never ducked behind anything. They understood the trajectory of all paintballs coming in from that being shot by amateurs and they would walk past people just doing matrix moves, dodging paintballs, commanding us. So if you ever go paintball, you play with these guys, Mo and K. Classic, just amazing paintballing guys. Uh, it, it's, it's, it's... It, it, they were superhuman, superhuman. So, um, right, let's get on with the stream. Walking around, and it's a meeting room. This is the kind of meeting room that you get to be in um, and to make decisions, and let's get out of here. Oh, broom closet. Does that open? Yay! Let's see what oh, they got in here. No, oh, no, 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 not again. I won't be part of this. I'm not going to encourage you. I'm not going to say what? anything at all. I'm just going to be patient and wait for you to finish whatever it is you enjoy doing okay. so much in this room. Well, Please look, take weapons. your time. I can, look, I've just been playing Last of Us Part 2, which I completed, and I can fashion weapons out of this stuff. There's a wrench, there's some spanners, duct tape, that's classic, right? I think that's a stapler. Uh, that bucket looks too like massive compared that broom is tiny that's a tiny broom um look, there's pliers up there but you can't grab any of this so that, why would you put this in here if i can't use it that looks like a radioactive sign but it's just a bunch of cables right right oh the door's closed come on there's something i've got to be able to do something in here no is it? I'm just still um, Chris has put I'm still playing Last of Us 2 and it just refuses to end oh my god yes Last of Us 2 you think it's ended and it hasn't it, it, it goes on I enjoyed it too many cutscenes uh, I just want to I, yeah it won't end I promise you it will it does. I mean, obviously, when you complete it, there'll be like, you know, you can replay the game with everything you've unlocked, but you might not want to do that. Uh, Remy says, also, my wife asked, what did you think of Last of Us 2? Oh, do, uh, your wife, uh, Rebecca, is that correct? Did I pronounce that right? Um, I, I enjoyed Last of, 2, Last of Us 2 for what it was. I preferred the first game because it was less cutscene-y and more gameplay-y. Whereas Last of Us 2, there's way too much cutscenes, especially at the top of the game, and you have to sit through it all. Um, and obviously, you know, they're trying to be more adult and they're broaching certain, you know, issues around uh, relationships and identities. I just want to play the game. I just want to sneak up on zombies and cut their throats out. Because by being able to do that in a video game, you don't have to do it in real life. And then <laughs> that's how we make the world a better place, is by getting all our frustration out in video games, where nobody actually gets hurt. 
So, oh, you think this is the end of the game? Four months earlier. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly what it does. Um, as the stream stopped for a second, um, hold on, something's happened. Hold on, I, th I think I might, if you give me a second, guys, I think I've lost, um, if I need to alt tab uh, to my thing, press that. Oh, yep, yeah, and back in the Stanley Power. Yeah, sorry, uh, what had happened there, if I can get back into the game, um, I'm back in the game now. Sorry, what happened there is I'm I am listening to this game uh, through Google Pixel Buds, and when I tapped, I tried to scratch my ear on the side of my head, and if you tap, tap it, it will stop it, and it stopped my stream, because I'm watching this on Twitch, because for some reason... Um, I can't watch it on Streamlabs and then I've got the game on my laptop. Just giving you all this technical like input because I felt that, you know, you know, I'm letting you see behind the curtain, which this game is trying to let us do, but frustrating me at the same time. Uh, Mr. Gabs, that's what Resident Evil is for. Uh, Resident Evil 4 and 5 and a bit of 6 is all I know. Um, but you guys are proper hardcore. Uh, Remy says, lol, she laughed and said thanks. Okay, great. I'd love to meet... Uh, Remy's got a great story. Uh, Remy gave me advice um, on relationships uh, a, a long time ago because I saw Remy, you know, suddenly out of nowhere, Remy's getting married, he meets this amazing girl and he's really happy. And I was like, what's the secret, dude? How'd you do it? And he gave me this advice and like, you know, when he really got clear on what he wanted and, uh, and, and how he was going to live his life, the right girl turned up. You know, I took that advice on board and I'd like to reveal to you, my girlfriend is watching this stream at the moment she's not a twitch streamer uh she's barely on social media but she is watching this uh, uh stream uh so everybody say hello to nazmin please please say hello to nazmin uh just so that you guys know and i would like to thank remy for the advice that you know he gave me um because now i got I got myself a whole girlfriend look at that ibs is saying hello nazmin um uh, Thank you very, uh, thank you very much. Sorry, time, my t uh, time has ravaged my brain. Chris is saying, "Hello, Nazmi. Uh, th thank you very much." Uh, uh, by the way, Ibs has spelt it correctly. Thanks, Adam. My sister. Oh, it's your sister's name, but it's not your sister. Just want to make that cl uh, clear before some, you know, crazy Pakistani dudes turn up at my house and try to beat me up. I don't need that hassle, right? <laughs> and uh, for you, this isn't a normal stream. Uh, I know. I, I, don't, I don't know what you know. Um, I wanted to have a chat and play the game. And uh, everyone said, hello, Nazmin. Hello. Yeah, look, loads of people saying hello. Count Hano's in there. Spike Doll. <laughs> what <ifs? laughs> Everybody's giving Nazmin uh, 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 a hello. I hope she's impressed by this. Um, I'm sure she will give me a big smile later on. Um, <laughs> I meant that to her. Awesome. Right. So, um, Adam. I wanted to ask Adam, you were developing a game a while ago. Are you still doing that? Like, I hope you are, man, because that was really exciting. Um, check out Adam is Spike Dog Wolf. Um, he was developing a game, man. Uh, uh, Adam, by the way, is one uh, Adam. And who, out of everyone in this group, Adam has lived in Japan, like lived in Japan, like went there, lived there, worked in Japan for Koei. Like he properly, I own, you know, I've been to Japan three times for the most six weeks was the most five six weeks he lived there for like a year and i think he's done it a couple of times so um it didn't what it, we released it it didn't do well but you know what adam you produced a game you got it out there that's what's like i've not produced a game you produced a game it went out there and on to the next thing man and you know i want to give you massive respect for that adam you you released a game you made it and you released a game like you it's it's better to do something and rather than not do it and just talk about it all the time, which is what I'm renowned for. I talk about a lot of stuff and I don't get it done. So respect out there to Spike Dog Wolf. Please follow him. Good friend of mine. Just follow all my friends. They're amazing. They're good people. They all got good souls. All of them. Every single one of them. Irrespective of their backgrounds or, and even what football team they support. Look, some of my friends don't share my ethnicity, my culture, my religion. Some of them don't even support Liverpool Football Club, the greatest team in the world. Right? But I love them. They're amazing. Check out Spike Dog Wolf. 4.5 years. Oh, yeah, it was great. Love doing it. Cow Turd is asking, uh, yeah, the game. What was the name of the game? Was it uh, Shadow, Shadow Root Games was the name of your company, I believe. Um, yeah, check them out. Check out Spike Dog Wolf if you're in the chat. Um, and just check out all my mates. They're all good people. Um, and you should be friends of theirs too. Uh, Neo Rift. That was it. Neo Rift. Check out Neo Rift. It's, uh, it's out. Uh, it's out there. 
Come on, you Spurs. <laughs> I should buy right support Spurs. Let's play this game. Right, there's nothing in here. I should leave. Right. Oh, up Coming or down? To staircase, yep. Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. I'm going downstairs. Anything hidden here? See, if you're playing Last of Us, there'll be there might be stuff hidden here, but there's not. I'm just going to do the opposite of what this game says sometimes. But Stanley oh, just couldn't it's a do it. Car. He considered the, brake the possibility lights on. of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All what is, of my what is going on? blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason. I feel like I'm in a Stephen King film. It made any logical I... sense. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Why did doors close automatically behind him wherever yes. he went? Yes, because I'm expecting. Come on. These rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange. This can't be real. And at Come last, on, what's he going came on? to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming! Yes, we're dreaming. This is all a Must dream. Be. Oh, what a relief Stanley felt to have finally found an answer. I've an been able to do that, be in a dream, and then go, oh yeah, this is gone. nonsense. This is a he dream. And then you wake job. up and kind of ruin it. wasn't crazy it. after all. When you're in a dream, you should know it's dream. You should try and explore it. I've, done, I've been able to do that a couple of times. Boring real life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. Come on, so, what's going on? He imagined himself flying and began to gently float above the ground. Oh my God! Then he imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field, and it too appeared. It was so much fun. This is mad. And Stanley marvelled that he had still not woken up. How this is proper so nuts. Lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. All right. Why is Can we there make a some... voice in my head yes. dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me thinking about how it's describing my thoughts can somebody call um while he thought it all a psychotherapist odd, please i think i need one what's going on the come on said, of course this was not a dream how could it be was stanley simply deceiving himself believing that if he's asleep he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life now hearing the voice speak these words oh my god to Stanley. I don't know if I'm going to be able to play this entire game a doubt that this if it's going to be like this did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago how else would the voice explain all that this voice was a part of himself too surely wow. surely if he could just he would prove it he would prove that he was in control that this was a dream so he closed his eyes gently and he invited himself to wake up. What the he felt right. the cool weight of the blanket on his skin, the press of the mattress on his back. Okay. The fresh air of a world outside this one. Uh huh. Let me wake up. Oh, that's he creepy. To himself, that's proper creepy. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please. It's all I want. I want my apartment. And my wife and my job all i want is my life exactly the way it's always what been is this game about? my life is normal i am normal everything will be fine i am okay what is going on for a second there i started to think Stanley began screaming. Oh, please, someone wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. I must be real. I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? And everything went black. What? What is... 
there's part of me kind of feeling this is what happens at the end of your life for this you to wake up in the greater reality Mariella. beyond this one. Maybe Mariella I need some medication. Who's Mariella? She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her. There better not be any work. jump scares in this but game. This okay, day, finally, some aunt, somebody else. Interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town, talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy. This much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. And in that moment, she thought to herself what is how going lucky on? she was to be normal. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real. And By the way, isn't. in the chat, it looks like it the Sega lads are things. talking about and somebody broke a leg or an arm at work. Uh, this must have been after I left because I don't remember that. She had scheduled for that day. The very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career and by extension, the rest of her life. She had no time for this, so it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. Okay. And then she turned and ran. Are you going to animate that? No, you're not. You're not going to animate that. This is this is the weirdest game I've played. This is just outright. Now it's loading again. This is... Oh, my God. I just... Guys, this is mad. Oh, okay, they cut you straight down. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yeah, okay. We made more progress when we went on the left. Oh, yeah, here we... there was not a single person here yeah, either. Yeah, we've been here before. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his office, hoping he might find an answer there. Okay, we'll go up to the boss's office. Oh, they've closed the broom closet because... They don't want me fashioning weapons out of what's... Oh, yeah. Let's go... Okay. Coming to a staircase, right. Stanley walked upstairs yeah. to his boss's office. Okay. Every time I don't do what the game says, I get punished in some crazy trippy nuts. It goes, why did you pick this one as your first game to play on on stream? Um, the reason why I... I was just... I was interested in these first-person explorer maps when I heard about the Stanley Parable and that everyone's gone to the Rapture. And I was like, I want to get around to playing them. Uh, and I always put it off because I've been on my PlayStation 4, I've been on my Nintendo. And then um, I just thought it would be nice to play a game that I've not played before, don't know anything about. So I explore it alongside with my um, with my viewers. Um, so I've learned now from two instances in this game that when I don't do as the narrator recommends, um, that I end up in some trippy, crazy stuff. So I guess what you're being told in life is that you do have choices, but when you're not done, when you don't do as you're told by the voice in your head, um, you end up wasting loads of time and getting frustrated. So this is to condition you to basically become a tool of capitalism, which you must fight and break down and replace with something much better, like... Just something better. Socialism, but like in a good way, not the way that's caused chaos... I don't know. Don't quote me on this. I'm just a streamer playing video games. Oh, hello. Something different. This is nice. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Manager's Shocked, office. Unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? What he could not Something's have known popped up there. was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. The keypad. And so the boss had assigned oh, it an extra secret pin number. 2845. <laughs> but of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing <laughs> random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Oh my god, some amazing. Some... He stepped into the newly opened passageway. The newly opened passageway? Where? Oh, hold on, there's light. This is messed up. This is... Just imagine that this, this life is a game and there's a narrator out there that you could tune into that could help you navigate life to your advantage. Wouldn't that be weird? Right, okay, finally. 
something's happening. Oh, more loading. We love a bit of loading and loading bars. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. I felt a it bit was peculiar. a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. <laughs> Super capitalist, democratic socialism. Now? Yeah, when Gabs. Years, it had what you said. To him. This question would not go unanswered for long. Unfinished Swan. A few others gone home. Unfinished Swan. Okay, there are games that we need to check out. Right, sorry, I need to get out here. Oh, uh oh, uh oh. Uh oh. Stanley walked straight ahead through the mind large control the facility. Mind control facility. <laughs> right. If I don't do as the narrator said, I'm going to end up. You know what? I've got to. A, no. You know what? Let's go into the mind control facility with the knowledge that's what they're trying to do, so we don't get mind control. So I'm like an undercover agent in the system, so I can take down the man. Or should I escape? I don't... Okay, look, I know I'm going into a mind control facility, so they're not going to get me because I know what they're going to try and do. Oh. I'm going to go for the escape. Let's see if we can get out of here. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his <laughs> violent death. What? See you later, man. I'm going back. Well, that's what they want me to believe. There we go. I'm going to defeat the man and the prevailing narrative of capitalism and materialism and bad things. The door behind him was not shut. It. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. Uh, looks like my girlfriend is uh, on Twitch now. She's Clow Rain. She's called herself Clow Rain. And she's telling me that it's 20... We have a game where any time when it's like when it's like 22 22 whoever texts it first they win and so it's 22 or you know 13 13 or 18 18 when the digits are the same so she wins so yeah that's At my girlfriend Clara was making a conscious concerted effort to her real name forward and willingly confront his death yes I do not fear death uh oh what's down there I'm not afraid of you. What's happened? It's loading. Oh my god. What's going As on? As the machine whirred into motion and Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise, uh -oh. he reflected that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. If I duck. Stanley can't see the bigger picture. He doesn't know the real story, trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. Perhaps his death was of no great loss, what? like plucking the eyeballs from a blind man. And so he resigned and willingly accepted no. this violent end no. of his brief and shallow life. I will defeat you. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, remember in Portal. Remember at the end of Portal, you, you get to escape. Farewell, ah. Stanley. Hello, who are you? As Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. No, it didn't. I'm down here. Aha! I escaped! Just like in Portal, at the end of Portal when you think you're going to die. But if you're smart, you know how to escape. Remember, guys, there's always... Oh, hello. There's always a way to win. Never give up. Now what? And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back You're in not, his you, office. You've got to be kidding me. As ever. You've got to be what kidding me. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? Yeah. Who is this new lady? I like her. When every path you Ooh, hello. has been created for you long in advance, yeah. death becomes meaningless, making life the same. Do you see now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? What? <laughs> Nature paintings. I love this. Whoever's played the people who've made this game have smoked some stuff and lived some life. 
I'm not going through those doors. I think I think at the end of life, this is what you get. You get to you you get to meet the the development original music, original artwork, Steam support. Is anybody that here with that we know? Um, yeah, never surrender, right, Chris? Absolutely. Um, where are we going now? This game has been stressful. This, uh, by the way, uh, for those of you who are watching, if you would w like to recommend a game for me to uh, stream some other time, uh, put it in the chat or better put it on my Twitter. Um, and uh, I'll have a look. This has been mad. Oh, hello. Narration outtakes. This mind control facility underground early version of the underground portion of the game all right okay so now i'm here i've escaped and i'm now behind the scenes what would be what would be amazing is uh if you can get so behind the scenes of this game it gives you the development tools to to build the end that would be mad wouldn't it freedom ending this is the freedom ending as it existed in beta okay oh hello monitor room elevator yeah the old up and down there's an exit there. I guess that's what I'm looking for now. I'm trying to make sense of what the hell this game is all about. <laughs> oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. Oh, what happened there? Can you see? Can yeah. you see how much uh they need one another? No, perhaps not. Oh, right. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. Journey. Adam saying journey. If I haven't played it, no. Oh, okay, I've not played Listen that one. You can journey. Still okay. Save Got to remember you that. Can one. Stop the program before they both fail. Okay. Push How? And press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Push escape and hit quit. Stop now. It'll be your only true choice. Whatever you do, choose it. Don't let time choose for you. Don't let time. Choose See, I die again. Does it actually want me to quit to the main menu? I don't want to do that. I don't want to play this game again. You'd have to be mad. What's going on? I can hear something. No? Has the game crashed? What is going up? Yeah, sorry, I have not played Journey, guys. That you're mentioning there. Uh, he has. He's just forgotten. Journey? No, I've not played Journey. Suddenly now my girlfriend's jumping in and telling Faz D is here. Salam. Well, I, well, walaikum salam. Faz D, you're a friend of uh, Ibs. I think we were we, we were in a stream together recently what, what, where I was in the comments. Where I was in the comments, where I was in the chat before. This is my first ever stream. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Um, what's happened? Guys, like, what do I... Oh, right. The game is now paused. Begin the game again. No, thank you. I'm not... Does it... Begin the game again? Oh, man. Is never the end, is never the end, the end is never the end. Oh, okay. So I haven't restarted, restarted the game. You're now in this. I what can't the wait heck? to tell this story to my co workers, Stanley thought. How oh amusing they'll find it. Right. Or won't we all just laugh and laugh at the time I thought everyone had gone missing? This is crazy. All right. I'm going to do as I'm when told. Stanley came to a set of two open doors. He entered the door on his left. Yes, I did. I'm, I'm now no longer going to challenge the narrative because that's what the game wants me to do in order for me to make Yet actual progress rather than restart here either feeling a wave is this meant to be a, a parable for life to go up to his boss's office if you don't do find an answer there. what the prevailing narrative tells you to do you you to get his you get reincarnated to do the same lesson don't make me put the code in just open the door oh for god's sake stepping into his manager's office Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. What could it mean? Stanley wondered aloud. Uh, what was it? Nobody. 2854 or something. He began wildly tearing through papers on the Play Mario desk, Galaxy, Remy saying. Off the shelf, Mario Galaxy 2. I never played Mario Galaxy 2. Oh, I didn't own it. The game's been great to watch, man. Narrator reminds me a little of Wheatley in Portal 2. Portal 2 is the most hilarious. Yes, Portal 2 was great. In fact, 
This keypad guarded the terrible secret that lay buried below his feet. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin an number. An extra secret two pin eight number. Eight four five. Two eight four. But of five. course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Two eight four five. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley uh -oh. happened to input the correct code. Yeah, and by now that's going to open up. There we go. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. There we go. All right, now the lesson I've learned is do as you're told, right? Just do as you're told. Because I, I want to. I don't want to have to repeat, get reincarnated, and repeat, repeat it over and over and over again. Only, so I've come to the end of our hour and a half. I think I might go for another half hour if you guys uh, are still interested. Um, I'm going to play for another half hour and then quit it like 11. Um, this has gone a lot faster than I thought it would. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Yeah, okay, I get it, game. I'm going to do as I'm told. And press the button. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. Oh, we were here before. What horrible we secret there. did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to there find out? I'm pretty sure at the end of your life, this is the kind of stuff that happens. It's far more exciting than the than the narratives of fear that we're often told. Um, what's that? CCTV. Now the monitors jumped to life. Their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so I'm many there. individuals reduced That's me right in the center. The screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Okay, what else do I do? Oh, oh, another walkway. Do you think somewhere a superior civilization is monitoring each person? Seeing what our progress is like and this seeing if we're, we're worthy of facility. being harvested to for reincarnation. Do you think that, that, that that's a, under a good sci-fi premise? Time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Come on, come on. There we go. Let's get on here. No. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own this life is exciting now. I feel like something's control? happening. Never. It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life? Wow, this bit should come with an epilepsy warning. World? Right. I have more boring questions I want to ask. Okay, sure. Don't know if you're here to chill though. Um, uh, well, playing the game at the, the moment, but the feel operation. free to tweet me the questions or, or whatever. Um, I'm happy to answer sad, questions. Absolutely. Walking, um, eating, mind working, control status offline. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink, oh, can in, I get down there? Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power oh, over right. another human Did, life. Okay, so Stanley's all about blowing up the Death Star. Dismantle the controls. There we go. Once Boom. And for all. Let's do it. Boom. How do you press that button? Is that the button? It looks like a button. All right. Maybe that's not the button. Let's get up here. Uh, boring stuff like fave comedian, what influence stuff, that sort of thing. Okay, so for those of you who don't know, which most of you do know, because most of the people in here are my mates, uh, I'm a stand-up comedian who's my favourite comedian. I've got lots of favourite comedians that I've grown up with. I think when as I became a stand-up, I would often talk about how much I loved Chris Rock uh, and even Eddie Murphy, uh, and they were and they were great. But I also grew up with the likes. So my first comedy memory, first comedy person I ever saw was Benny Hill. Benny Hill was my first like. Like, oh my God, this is comedy. Uh, grew up, Jasper Carrot is a big influence of mine from when I was a, I was a kid and I forgot about when I became an adult uh, and uh, went back and watched all of his stuff recently and re uh, really enjoyed uh, what he did. And, you know, definitely in his era, he was at the top of it. Um, but want to keep it to game stuff, I'm good with that. Hey man, whatever you want to ask me, like I'm, I'm happy to be asked uh, anything. Can I just say my favorite ever comedian is Imran Yusuf. Oh, Chris, Chris, you silver-tongued sweetheart, you. <laughs> right, um, 
I've got loads of like I there are some comedians that I love that you've never heard of because they're still on the circuit. They're like they've become old blokes like Dave Fulton, uh, Jeff Innocent, uh, you know, like Paul Thorne, Steve Gribbin, uh, these guys that I've worked with at, over at the comedy store. I really like them. I think they're incredible geniuses. They might not be on TV, they might not be famous, but when it comes to actually being skilled, these are the guys. Absolutely these are the guys. So um do I switch? Where do I go? I go to in mind control idol awaiting input. Imagine that. Imagine being able to control the narrative of the world with a very strong, with a very strong story. System and power last, off he on. he found the source of the room's power, he yes. knew it was his duty, his mm. obligation, to put an end to this horrible me. place and to everything it stood for. Rick Carranza is now hosting my stream with one view. Oh, thank you, uh, Rick. Thank you very much for uh, uh, hosting my stream. Um, but I, I don't understand how Twitch works entirely. So when people are oh, hosting your stream and all of that stuff, like uh, I don't quite get get what it means exactly. But I'd assume that you know people are watching my stream on your channel. And thank you very much for that. Share the love, uh, and I'll I'll be sure to return the favor. Uh, as I now I've begun my Twitch, my my, my Twitch journey with my uh, with a lot of my close friends from the games industry. This is great. Here's a big comedy question for you. Bill Hicks, does this comedy live up to his legendary status? Uh, Bill Hicks, d d if you watch any of Bill Hicks stuff now, it's still relevant. It's still great. Uh, to be honest, I don't think I'd want to hang out with him in real life uh, if because he seemed really, really grumpy. Uh, but definitely, he, I think ultimately with comedy, it's about finding your voice, as with any art. Whether you're a games designer, a musician, an artist, don't worry about what everybody else is doing. Do the thing that you enjoy and make it for the sake of making it. Do it for the sake of doing it because you enjoy it. Because, you know, a secret I discovered on my 37th birthday a few years ago whilst at the comedy store, don't worry about entertaining people and making them laugh. If you're having fun, they'll have fun. And if they're not, then that's not your audience. You know, not everyone's going to love you. Uh, but, you know, make fun your priority. You have fun. Because if you're enjoying yourself drawing, painting, designing games, doing comedy, singing, dancing, whatever, if you're enjoying it, you're winning. And that's all that matters. So uh, I hope that uh, uh, that answers uh, your, your question. Uh, your question. Sage words, man. Absolutely, uh, Adam. You know, that's uh, often we're told in life, go and buy things, be, you know, go get the blue tick on Twitter. I do have one. I do have a blue tick on Twitter. Go get these things to validate yourself. Whereas really, if you're like, if you got health, you're winning. If you got friends, you've won. Like you've just won. There's nothing greater than the quality of the relationships you've got in your life. And the, what I'm really grateful for is uh, the, the friends that I've, I've, I've got in this life. And the fact that they're from different backgrounds and different everything only enriches the quality of my life. You probably weren't expecting this. One, one on PSN can sort that out for you, Adam is saying. Oh, okay, what? Well, uh, you could not be more British. <laughs> um, uh, one, one on PSN? Okay, sure. Who's uh, what? Do I want what on PSN? Okay, whatever. Abs oh, a blue tick on PSN. Oh, uh, wow. Adam, man, if you can sort that out, that'd be amazing. That would, okay, sure. But I don't know if I'll get one because my PSN name is Nintendo Ultra 64. <laughs> I will message you, bro. I will. Thank you. Wow. This is what, friend, this is it. Share the love, man. Just, uh, you know, what I learned from Naruto uh is you know you develop your strength so you can help build uh, help other people d discover theirs and you can collectively build a superior life together i, th I swear i'm going to be some like religious cult leader one day and uh and then hundreds of years from now i'll be misquoted and there'll be all kinds of chaos has that happened before let's get back to the game so mind control let's switch this off and i switched it off i've beaten you stanley's parable i've won Do you watch anime, Faz D is asked. Of course, man. Naruto, Hajime no Ippo. My girlfriend also watches anime. We're into the same anime. Uh, and uh, especially Naruto. Okay, people, I'm off to bed. Catch you next stream, Imran. Thank you so much, uh, Kay. Thank you very much for joining. I'll see you soon, bro. Give me a shout. Is he put Naruto? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, happy Faz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Night, dude. See you later, Chris. Thank you. Unshackled himself yes, from Shenmue. someone else's command. Okay. Freedom was mere moments I've beaten, away. I've beaten Stanley's yet, parable. Oh, you got a move. The immense door slowly opened. Come Stanley on. Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Wow, this is easy to beat. Had his co-workers gone? Oh. How had he been freed from the machine? Let's goals? go. Shenmue, Shenmue anime is going to be. I hope it's going to be great. I hope it does it justice. 
he realized oh you're saying good night to k i'm staying and also shenmue anime Woo, absolutely shenmue anime that he had been seeking but happiness come on let me get out his goal had not been to understand but to let go no longer would anyone tell him where to go what to do or how to feel whatever life he lives this is it wow that's be beautiful his. and that was all that's gorgeous when you're it born this is what happens you come out of darkness your consciousness is in an, in a environment that cannot conceive the beauty of the world that you're going to walk out into and yes it is dangerous dangerous it's full of danger and and horrible things but there's loads of people that you'll meet and uh, felt the cool and you'll make friends with skin, and you fall in love with feeling of liberation and have a good time with the immense possibility of the new Catherine is asking when is that anime coming out we don't know but if you if you exactly google Shenmue right anime uh, now, uh, it's being worked on like you know uh, it's on the horizon like they've announced that it's happening plus get you shoved onto a field yeah that's what life does it shoves you into a field if you're born in the wild and it's all, all gone white now achievement unlocked beat the what seriously is that it i beat the game you can't is that the whole game that is the whole game you've got to be kidding me i'm back in the office or as we like to call it the orifice ha <laughs> if you've not seen jacob's ladder i think you'll love it okay i don't know i've heard jacob's ladder i don't know what it is jacob's ladder okay let me write this stuff down Journey. Journey. Jacob's Ladder. So I remember to look this up later on on my post-it note. Right, I'm back in the game. I thought I could beat the game. Phone's ringing. Who's phoning? This is... Yeah, it's going to tell me again, isn't he? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors... Left? He Are we going left? Door on his left? Yeah, okay. I won't disobey. This is... Yet there was not a single person here Yeah, either. we know. There's no one in the Feeling meeting room. Of disbelief, oh, what Stanley I want to share with you guys. Up to his boss's For office. Hoping you yeah. might find an okay. answer there. Okay, just shut up for a second so I can tell uh, uh, who's watching. For those of you, uh, thanks for the stream, Imran. I'm going to head off. Okay, thank you very much, Count Hano. Thank you very much for following and being part of this stream. I hope to see you again. Uh, really enjoyed having you here uh, and joining in with us. Uh, what I just want to share with those of you who are remaining, and this is be specifically pertinent to those of us who worked in the games industry, is that when you worked in QA, sometimes the top brass would bring their children in, or like during half term, because they couldn't because they didn't have a babysitter and they're their other partners doing whatever and it was somehow unofficially QA's job to take care of that kid and sometimes that kid would be feisty and you know you couldn't say anything because if you did you'd get in trouble uh, and you know that kid wanted to play you in a game and you'd have to thrash him because then they couldn't touch you for that like you couldn't you know if you smash him up in Street Fighter you can't touch him for that but um, often if you're in QA every now and then you had to pay babysitter to like you know the CEO's kid on half term Having to nurse these Coming goddamn to sport children. Stanley walked upstairs <laughs> to his boss's office. Um, boss's office. Okay. D Come on, it's just telling the me to do the same. He entered his manager's office. Yeah, Stanley yeah, yeah, froze yeah, 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 in his yeah, yeah. tracks. Not a living soul anywhere. Could he really be all alone? This was too much for Stanley. Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible. <laughs> yes. He didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. This is great. The, the narration design in this game is amazing. So These guys deserve, deserve an award. I'm sure they've got some one. Calming new age music. Come on, open the thing up. No, I've got new age music. Feeling soothed and rejuvenated, Stanley Finally. calmly walked forward into the opened passageway. I'm falling, that's very dangerous. Was that necessary? Right. Is there some, something different going to happen or is this the same nonsense again? Oh my god. If I've beaten this game on the first time I've streamed, uh, I've got to find something else to do for the next stream. <laughs> I've got to find something else to do. Right, here we are. Let's go. Ding, 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 ding. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read yeah. Mind Control Facility. I've got a feeling this is all it is. It just goes 
over and over again. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place yeah. hold? Stanley thought to Nothing himself. different is common. Something different has to happen. To find out. This can't be the whole game. Uh, Laws Ryu 88. Evening. Good, good. Well, that's either a hello or a goodbye. Just evening. Uh, hello, Laws Ryu 88. Thank you very much for being here. Um, I, I hope I hope you're staying for the next 15 minutes whilst I try to complete the game weirdly now for the second time. Um, co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to yeah. images on a screen and stand Come on. one of them eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Come on. Is yeah, is it just come on, something different has to happen, surely. This mind control. I, I, Los Rio, I like to keep it, it vague. I like your style. That That's a making true. of a good comedian. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this ha, time? Not just been lurking for a bit. Okay, well, you're welcome to do that. Job, I know him. I can shatter his mystique. <laughs> <laughs> Is it? You've got to be kidding no. me. You. He refused to believe it. Where's four two seven? Accept it. His own life in someone else's control. Never. I think it this is. I'm just playing the game again. Wasn't it? Nothing different it is happening. Possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? I will be so wound up if this is actually just. Here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions: happy or sad or content, walking, eating, working. All of it. Let me try the other option. Okay. This very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided there that this more, machinery would never again there are more endings. its terrible okay. power System over power another on. human life. For he... Oh, Stanley, you didn't just activate the controls, did Oh, Laws Ryu 88, you're from Sega. Imran, he's fellow Sega brethren. Oh, okay, Laws Ryu. Laws Ryu. Uh-oh. Oh. Is that what you wanted? Laws Ryu. Who is Los Ryu 88? Oh, Stanley, that I worked with at Sega. Effort, I really Los did. Ryu you need to understand, 88. There's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to it could be anyone. go, turn the controls off, and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe. Oh well, after my time. Pertinent. Okay. Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. In the event that this machine is activated I mean, without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are set to explode, eliminating the entire complex. How long until detonation then? Hmm, let's say, um, two minutes. Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? It's your time to shine. You right. are the star. Okay, what am I it's doing? It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much no. better than what I had in mind. What this a shame is bad. What am so I going to do? Time left to enjoy. This is come on. Mere moments until the bomb goes off. All but right. What precious moments each one of them is. More time to talk about you, about me, where we're going. Where are we going? What all this means. How do I get I out of here? I barely know where to start. What's that? You'd like to know where your co-workers are. A moment of solace before oh you're God. obliterated. All right, I'm in a good mood. This is proper crazy. Anyway, oh. I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. Oh, you I got to do it in order. Them. Oh, right. Turn okay. The machine. I set you free. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Ah! Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly right. and then dying alone. Other times, I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone One, inside, or I let it burn two. to crisp. I have to say this, though. This version of events has been rather amusing. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the control wrested away from you, it's quite rich. I almost hate to see it go. But I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go-around will be even better. My goodness, only 34 seconds left. But I'm enjoying this so this much. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. Why not? Where's three? These are precious additional seconds, Stanley. Time doesn't grow on the I am panicking! What's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing? There's right five. Now? Or 
did you just assume when you but there's saw quite that a timer, few fives something in this room was capable of turning it off i mean look at you running controllers vibrate history screen to screen clicking on every little thing in this room these numbered buttons no these colored ones or maybe this big red button or this door everything anything something oh my here God. will save me why would you right. think that, Stanley? That this video game can be beaten? Four. One, so right, let's get five. Do you have any idea what your purpose in this place is? <laughs> oh my god, this is proper terrifying. Stanley, you're in for come on, 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 come on. But here's a spoiler for you. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. You're only still playing instead of watching a cutscene. Five. I want to watch you for every moment Come on. you're powerless. Where's that big to red see button? You made humble. This is not a challenge. It's a tragedy. You wanted to control this world. That yeah. Fine. Boom. I'm going to destroy it first, so you can't. What? Take a look at the clock, Stanley. That's 30 seconds you have left to struggle. 30 seconds until a big boom and then nothing. No ending here. What? Just you being blown Crap, but I press the red button and I press the buttons in sequence. Or will you let it go peacefully? Another choice. Make it come. Or don't. It's all the same to This is all what about these green ones. And oh man, me, this is terrifying. Come on. Every second of your inevitable life from the ah. moment we fade in <laughs> until the moment I say happily ever. Alright, here we go. Bye. Boom. This game is emotionally abusive. This is what the, this is the review I'm putting on Steam. <laughs> Emotional abuse. So Loz Review, you worked. I'm not playing this game again. No, I'm not. You know what? I think it, it's time to call it an evening. So what I'm gonna do is I put that on the old pause and right thank you very much for sitting through that that was a wow that was hardcore that was exhausting um i don't think i want to play this game again like uh it's it's it was entertaining uh and exhausting and i need to find something else that was mad what do you mean oh what if you're right n near the end really I haven't played it, so I'm not sure if you actually are. Okay, Chris, you got to be careful with that, man. I'm like, I'm not playing through that again. That was mad. That was, oh my God. That's, uh, it's funny. I like the way it was designed, uh, but it really wound me up. There are a lot of endings to this game. Okay. I don't know if I've got the patience to play anymore. <laughs> it's really wound me up. It's proper wound me up. Um, really enjoyed the game. Great first stream. Oh, thank you. This yeah. So those of you who don't know, this is my very first stream uh, that I've done. Um, yeah, there are th like thirty endings. Adam is saying thirty endings, but you got to walk through all that nonsense in order to. Oh man, that's too much. That's t like how many Adam? How many endings did you get? Like I think I've just done two. Well, two like where you get to the end as opposed to being respawned back to the start for not paying attention wow you did 10 15 right well, you got patience by the way adam here spike dog wolf uh won a games competition back in the early 2000s where you won like every console and like every game um it's on youtube you, can you drop a link to the video on um in the chat are you able to do that adam um you should watch this adam very tall and uh and and just won an obscene amount of video game goodies just a, it was ridiculous it was like the ultimate um the ultimate uh the ultimate thing you want every console and loads of games oh cool he's going to get it in a minute you got to check that my friend adam it, it's just and he won it on tv smashed the other guy uh and uh, and just what it was xbox playstation gamecube like ds everything he just won it all in loads of games it's just it was ridiculous um he's gonna he's gonna drop a link in the chat so you need to check this one out that's quite funny um yeah wow there's loads of endings so i've enjoyed this stream i'd like to do this more often maybe two to three times a week i'm gonna find some other games to play i know you guys have written journey and jacob's ladder i think i'd like to play something that's not as intense as this maybe something a bit different also find other things it might be like some videos or subjects that i'd like to talk about in an entertaining way for a, an hour hour and a half i might do um and so jealous of all those prizes reminded me of watching wait till you get home on noel's house party where the kid would get loads of yes that's exactly what adam won like he was on noel's house party uh, jacob's ladder is a film but is intense sorry 
that's why I've heard of it. Like, oh, sorry, it's a film. It's a famous film, isn't it? But I've just not seen it. Um, I feel like stupid now. Like I should know this. Um, are you? Can you on stream? Can you watch a film? There's the link, guys. If you look in the chat, in the link, Spike Dog Wolf, uh, my friend Adam has put a link to his video uh, of him winning um, loads of video games consoles in the early two thousands. Uh, you got to watch it. It's it's great. Uh, the game they played was somewhat mad and uh just the prizes it's when i looked at the prizes i was just full of envy of just winning all of that must have been great he goes i i, I look like i'm about 12 <laughs> try these games unfinished swan and i actually now can't remember the other one i suggested unfinished swan is that the sequel to untitled goose game unfinished uh swan we could do it. i just want to are you allowed to like watch a movie like a like a like jaws on Twitch and talk about it, like whilst it's on. Like, are you, are you allowed to do that, or do you get in trouble for that? Everyone's gone to the Rapture, obviously. Yeah, I've got that. Uh, I've got that in my Steam wish list. What I love about Steam is that as a game that I want, I'll wait until it's like five thousand percent off and then get it for two p. Uh, it's on Amazon Prime. You can do a watch party. Oh, oh, if it's on Amazon Prime, you can do a watch party. That's thank you very much. T T T M O genius. T M O genius. Otherwise, you can't. Great. Well, I know that Jaws, I've actually bought Jaws on Amazon Prime. I used to have it on DVD, but my friend David Higgins from Sega uh, took it and I've not seen it since. Uh, so if you see Higgins, I'd like my Jaws DVD back. He's had it since 2006. Uh, first season of the of the Walking Dead games. All right. OK, I think I'm zombied out for a while. I'm Xbox with Halo. Wouldn't pick that now, would you? <laughs> <laughs> Lost Review 88. Yeah, that's funny because Adam said that. He goes, the game he was most excited about, all the prizes he won, was Xbox and Halo. <laughs> How do you watch Party? Can you stream a show that's on Amazon? Uh, here's the technical advice. Perhaps TMO Genius uh, can shed some light on that. Um, mate, star of the show was the Dreamcast. Absolutely. Adam, you've got a great uh, fact about the Dreamcast you won. Uh, could you share that in the chat? Could you... Um, TMO Genius has put a, oh, there's a link there. If I click on that, hopefully it'll open up in a different tab, which is great. Oh, hold on. I think I can switch. Uh, oh, right. It, that's what you see in the background. If I go to uh, Streamlabs, what do you see in the background? Oh, see, the problem is if if I look on Streamlabs, I can't see the chat. I can only see the chat when I'm watching on Twitch. Um, so Adam has put, Right, the Dreamcasty one. It was a Blue Sonic anniversary version signed by Yuji Naka. Adam won a Blue Sonic, Sonic the Hedgehog anniversary version of the Dreamcast that was signed by Yuji Naka. Right. Also, Adam, before we met, Adam and I and a bunch of us were actually all in the same queue to meet Shigeru Miyamoto at Virgin Megastore in, was it Tottenham Court Road? Back in 2003? I think it was. Uh, there was only five in the world, Adam, but there was only five of those Dreamcasts. Wow. Yeah, wow. Oh, wow. That's that's pretty special, man. You camped overnight to meet Shigeru Miyamoto. There's, I believe the photo Adam has got is that he's wearing two ties for some reason. I think that's from a film. Uh, is it Fifth Element? I'm not too sure. Uh, and yeah, so Adam was in that queue. I was in that queue. I believe Zam was in that queue. Mike Hanley was in that queue. Uh, it's amazing. I was there trying to get my stuff signed by Miyamoto. TMO Genius, D do I do I know you? T like, I, I don't know who you are just because of the name. I'm glad you're here. But who's TMO Genius? Um, Adam was 10th in the light. You can't mess with Adam, man. Adam is hardcore, dude. This guy's lived in Japan, worked for Koei. Just, uh, he is hardcore. BTTF2. What's, sorry. Yeah, commit. that's right, Laws Ryu 88 that commitment. Don't mess with Adam. You probably forgot, but I'm Inel's brother. Oh, my God, Diamond. Di DJ Diamond, that's who TMO Genius is. I remember you. I met you. I've met you once. I've met you once at a comedy gig, right? Because I know, I know who does a stream. Um, uh, he's, he's a great guy, a great comedian, such a happy dude, such an amazing guy, and a hardcore gamer. Thank you, DJ Diamond, who's actually TMO Genius. Um, I have met you. The other brother? I didn't know he had an other brother. I honestly, oh my God, I had no idea I now had, I thought it was just Diamond. I didn't, have I met you? When was this? Oh my God, you must forgive me. Sorry, sir. 
Working for Koei isn't a badge of honor, Adam has put. <laughs> well, dude, you know what? To be a foreigner to, and live in Japan and work for Koei is not an easy thing to do. The fact that you did that is a badge of honor. Two Ties with Back to the Future 2. You're right, Chris. Thank you very much for the Back to the Future 2 reference there. Two Ties is acts from Back to the Future 2. That's a great series of films. Yeah, me at Kinetic Comedy a few times. Kinetic Comedy... I think... I, I my, my memory is that I've only done Kinetic Comedy once. It was in a room above a pub, I believe, in... Opposite the Union Chapel. Where is it? It's not Finsbury. Um, it, but it's around that area. Um, oh, well, thank you very much, TMO Genius. Thank you very much, uh um for uh for being here what's i feel really bad now because before when i was in the games industry i was just about able to mem re remember everybody i met remember their names uh and remember who they were but after i became a stand-up comedian i met so many people that i can't keep them all in my head and i think there's a general like the way our brains have evolved that human beings we, we used to live in villages of up to like 150 people and after you got to 150 people people like would gravitate away and set up new villages because you couldn't keep more than 150 people people keep their foot on be on a first name basis and keep uh, and and have a reflex to know who they were beyond that and so there's this evolutionary thing, which I'm using as an excuse now, it sounds like, uh, to, uh, to explain why I don't, I, I don't remember TMO Genius. Sorry. I'm really sorry, TMO Genius. Hi, Brian Islington. Yes, I remember. That was the gig. That's, I remember doing kinetic comedy. I only remember doing it that once. So, uh, but thank you. And I'm, I'm really glad that you're here. Um, FASD is saying, yeah, it's super hard to do. It's super hard to, uh, to remember after you get to, uh, to a certain point. I'll be, uh, what is it, Losry, I'll be using that excuse too going forward. Definitely look it up on YouTube so you explain it better than I did. <laughs> they do that. All right. It can be, especially being Asian. Uh, indeed, I think if you're, uh, we've got so many family members. I'm, pr I'm, when I go to East Africa, which is where I was born and where a lot of my family are, like everywhere I walk, I'm related to somebody. It's, it's proper mad. Like proper mad. Um, it's a uh, proper cra uh, crazy like that. Um, I'm going to figure out, right? So as this draws to an end, I'm going to figure out how to do polls so I can like go, hey, what do you think? And then people can like vote and I don't have to hold my hands up like this, asking people whether I should go left or right. Um, and yeah, check out that. Yeah, so Adam has already provided the link to that video. Please check out the uh, the, vi uh, the video. And thank you again, TMO Genius, for letting us know. Um, I'm interested in that. I might stream Jaws, Jaws 1 on Twitch and chat about it. Um, if you've not seen Jaws, it's one of the greatest films of all time, of all time. And, uh, I, if, uh, and I want you to love it as much as I love it. It's a long film, uh, but it's great. It's a masterpiece and is a big shark in it, uh, which, and you know, you got to love sharks. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, I like the finger gimmick. <laughs> Psycho Chris liked the finger gimmick while I was there going, ah, it's a wonderful. <laughs> uh, sp sp uh, spoilers for Jaws. Come on, Adam, have you not seen Jaws? Yeah, Chris has seen Jaws. Chris knows what I'm talking about, right? Adam, have you not seen Jaws? Oh, haha, ha, of course I have. All right, okay. I was a bit like, I thought you were going to be one of those people of like, Star Wars, what's that? Um, that that would be proper nuts. All right, amazing. Guys, it is now four minutes past 11. Uh, thank you from the bottom of my heart for being part of my first stream it means a lot to me especially that there's a lot of my mates here from sega and idos you were there in my life when when things were really really hard and it was your love and support and just your friendship the fact that you guys were there made all the difference and it changed me as a person it changed me as a, and later on you know there'll be a discussion maybe in the future about how that impacted me because soon after i left to go on pilgrimage to the middle east which is you know where, where they've got their act together uh, to figure out what my life was about and the friendships that i had at sega and idos and that i've had throughout my life really impacted the kind of person that i became and enriched it and i hope you know that I, in return that i've been able to be a good friend to you as well and if i haven't i apologize and if i can ever help you please let me know um thank you thank you so much all of you i love you deeply god bless you all whether you believe in it or not i hope you have amazing lives and I hope to see you again on next another stream uh sometime soon and i'm figuring out how i can go offline oh there we go i press that thanks again i love you all and see you very very soon <sniffs> goodbye <laughs>